Welcome to Action 242, as we continue to look at the vital importance of prayer in our lives, both individually and corporately. Because as much as I need to set time aside to pray and to spend time with Jesus on my own, when we come together corporately, there is something powerful when two or three are gathered and we come together in agreement. However, in James, it says this, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. Some years ago, um, I was in a church meeting and before the meeting started, we generally would get together and we would pray and intercede for what God was about to do in the meeting. And there was a, a leader who was visiting us and he joined with us in the prayer meeting and he experienced this prayer meeting. And afterwards he said to some of us as leaders, he said, wow, he said, that was incredible. He said, your people pray like they actually believe God is listening. I didn't think there was any other way to pray, but it is so easy to fall into a ritual of prayer where we're just going through the motions, where we're just saying the words. In fact, one of the greatest ironies is that when the disciples came to Jesus and said, teach us to pray, he taught them this most powerful prayer, which instead of us learning the power of a simple prayer, many of us have, have begun to just repeat that prayer, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. And it's become a ritual in itself. And Jesus never intended to teach us a ritual. When you look at the words of that prayer, it's talking about somebody who's coming into an intimate relationship with his father who believes in the goodness of his God and believes that God will respond. If we're going to pray, we need to be a people who pray with faith. Hebrews 11 tells us something really powerful in this regard. And it's in Hebrews 11 and verse 6 it says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. When we come before God, it sounds obvious, but we must believe that he is, that he exists, that he is alive and wanting a relationship with us. But also we must believe that he is a good God who desires to reward those who earnestly seek him. As we finish off this series on prayer, my hope and my desire is that we will be a people who earnestly seek God. Sometimes it seems that when we seek God, he isn't to be found because God sometimes will hide himself. But he doesn't hide himself in such a way that he can't be found. He hides himself in such a way that when we earnestly seek him, we do find him. And apart from anything else, finding him is its own reward. He gives himself to us. That's the greatest reward. And once he's given himself to us, he then gives us good things. He is a good father who knows how to give good things. So let us be good children who come to him with faith and an expectation that he will reward those who earnestly seek him.